Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about genetics, DNA, all of that kind of fun stuff. So, you know, it's probably no surprise to anyone, and we've heard this everywhere, that the human race has been genetically modified by different extraterrestrial groups over the span of time. And so there was kind of a big, like boo-boo <laughs> maybe not a boo-boo but there's been malevolent extraterrestrials who've come in here and messed things up right and then we've had benevolent extraterrestrials helping us so what does the human race need to do to learn how to take care of themselves and to give themselves better health master their genetics and learn how to evolve their own genetics and I talked about this because then the bad guys can't do it and the good guys don't need to help us and then we're sovereign and we're awesome humans taking care of ourselves on planet Earth. And I talked briefly about this in my book, Welcome to the Future, about evolving um, our genetics and how the human race is getting help from the Galactic Federation of Worlds and the Orion Council, the Council of Five. Some people call it the Orion Council of Light. It's semantics. They're all the same thing. And what else was I going to say? Oh, there's like several videos back of Valnick talking about this, um, training scientists and doctors and giving them uh, help with extraterrestrial DNA to evolve genetics. It's very important that the humans learn how to do this as sovereign beings. We don't want to take the victory away from ourselves or from the humans. No extraterrestrial race wants to be um, considered like they don't want to make us codependent on them, right? They want to make us independent. So this is why they're helping us to do this. Also, even though the Council of Five has a they don't have the law of non-interference, like they'll help and interfere where they see fit. And the Galactic Federation of Worlds does have a law of non-interference, so there's certain things they will or will not help with. Even though the Council of Five, you know, believes that they will help when needed, only if necessary. If they can teach, and we can teach ourselves and teach the humans and help the humans to evolve their race, into 5D awesome beings, <laughs> then we're going to do so, right? Like, we're smart people. <laughs> we can figure this out. So what I've learned from Valnek, and I'm just going to use my own words, is the Anunnaki, and I know there's like maybe the good Anunnaki, the fallen Anunnaki. I've always been told from Valnek that the Anunnaki are a regressive species as bad as the Dracos, if not worse. And if anyone else says differently, you know, respect to them. But this is what Valnek has told me. And the Anunnaki wanted to make us into a slave race. And so how did they do that? And why did they do that? They modified our genetics and they modified our brains. And I think we've all heard of the reptilian brain. <laughs> and... The Anunnaki are responsible for the reptilian brain. So they said, you know, we want the humans to be enslaved. We want to make them smart, but not too smart. And we want to affect their brain's ability to connect to the God source because they, we don't want them to figure out who they really are and their the capabilities of their light body and the capabilities of that, the, that they have the capability to create. The reptilian brain is kind of like the ego and it makes humans more aggressive and more predator-like and more self-destructive instead of being more focused like on a spiritual expanding consciousness level right and a sign that someone has this genetic reptilian dna because they use reptilian dna the reptilian brain reptilian dna kind of makes sense <laughs> A sign that someone has this is if they have the RH factor. So if they are RH positive, then it's a, it's a sign, it's a genetic marker that they have this reptilian DNA. Now, the 
Starseed Envoy program, which I've talked about in my book, also Welcome to the Future, you know, they, the Council of Five, the Orion Council said, you know what, we are sending some spectacular souls to planet Earth. <laughs> Me and everybody else watching, right? The thousands of people that are going to watch this. We are sending the best of the best. So we're going to give them the best capability, the best genetics we can give so that they can be successful in their mission and successful in their life purpose, which is healing humanity and raising consciousness. So we have to fix what the Anunnaki did. We have to fix the reptilian brain. And those people do not have the RH factor. They are RH negative. So they are without that protein that is on the surface of the red blood cells. So if you have, you know, special extraterrestrial DNA, you're going to be RH negative more than likely. So what the Orion Council did, what the Council of Five did, is they modified our genetics so that we have the capability to connect to our light body and to connect to the God source a little bit easier. And we have more of a genetic predisposition for psychic abilities, intuition, because it's a spiritual war, right? So they're sending us in with these awesome physical vessels to be successful and help other people. And then the planet can evolve itself into different genetics and we all have this, right? So it's kind of like nobody is better or worse. It's kind of like if you're going to be a basketball player, it helps if you're six foot seven versus five foot nine. So it's not nobody is greater than or less than. It's just different genetics with different capabilities. And what is DNA? DNA is a um, uh, DNA is a set of instructions, right? So it's how your liver cells know, okay, I'm going to be a liver cell. I'm going to replicate this way. I'm going to behave this way. So DNA is a set of instructions. So it's not necessarily that we need more strands of DNA, like 12, 24, 48 strands of DNA. It's that we need different different instructions in the DNA, right? Because you're only going to have so many strands, so many chromosomes. You know, when you start adding chromosomes, that's when you get stuff like Down syndrome. But different DNA with different instructions and different instructions to replicate in a certain way. So the brain will be formed differently because it's encoded in the genetics. So I was going to say, I'm just thinking of what else I have to say. <laughs> I've been thinking about this video all day long and I've been taking care of the ponies. Uh, so I'm also a little tired. But the, the humans are, you know, there's a lot of secret space program stuff. So have we been able to do genetic experiments and stuff like that for a very long time? Yes. But when we talk about being a fifth density species... That is where the humans are really going to kick ass with this new technology that we're getting from the Galactic Federation of Worlds and from the Orion Council because they're helping and assisting us to do this ourselves. This is very important because it's in alignment with universal law that we do this as sovereign beings. It's we're doing this ourselves and they're giving us extraterrestrial DNA or the genetics with the instructions to shift densities. So this must be done genetically. I have everything I need in this body, but I cannot tell my body to shift into a different density. It's not in my genetic encoding. I can raise my frequency and use different parts of my brain like psychic abilities, but I don't have and we don't have this ability yet. So when we evolve as a race and go into 5D, there's science behind how you do that and your genetics have to be encoded to shift into fifth density. So this is really important. The cabal, malevolent extraterrestrials, they fucking hate this <laughs> because if they can keep us dumb, they can keep us manipulated and they do not want the human race to be able to evolve its genetics. So sometimes, 
in my opinion, they tell stories to confuse us. And in my opinion, aliens playing God and offering to change our genetics for the better is a slippery, slippery slope. Aliens assisting humanity in changing our own genetics for the better is a better way, in my opinion. So it just can be a little bit, but this will be over a span of time. And so I also want to mention too, like as far as solar flares, solar flashes, it does help activate like the light body and it raises your frequency, which helps like push out any negative energy and raise your vibration so you can use different parts of the brain. So I offer DNA activation meditations on my Patreon channel. And it's not changing your genetics, that's impossible <laughs> by just listening to my meditation, but it's raising your frequency, teaching you to raise your frequency to connect to different parts of your brain and helping you develop psychic abilities and use that latent DNA or that latent genetic material that we're not using, right? Because most humans, we only use about 10% of our brains. I think that's all I have to say. <laughs> uh, yes. Well, lots of love to you guys. I'll be back with more videos.